Hey, welcome back to Windy Hill. It's another beautiful day in Oklahoma. As you can tell, it's hot. I don't have air conditioning in my shop, so if it's hot outside, it's pretty hot inside. I do have a fan, but the uh, fan's so noisy you can't hear anything. So anyway, I'm just gonna talk real quick today about a little piece of equipment I bought here. I do a lot of flat repair on uh, small uh, tires, lawnmower, uh, wheelbarrows, and things like that. Okay. So I bought this thing, it's $59 at uh, Harbor Freight, but uh, this model, I didn't want the mini model, they're same price, but the mini tire model will only do up to a 12 inch tire. And I still wanted to kind of keep the ability to do uh, the bigger tires, like up to a 16. And this will do a 16. Okay, now when you buy the tire changer, whatever you want to call it, um, it comes set up, to do tires with uh, the hub that's all about two inches in diameter. Okay, and that's what's up. Going down over this little piece. Sorry. Okay, this little piece comes off. But the piece that's on there that remains, I'll show you here in a minute, is still too big for like an eight inch tire or even anything smaller, even a 12 inch tire is too big. So I took this off, I'm gonna hang on to it because if I do 16 inch tires or anything like that for other trailers and stuff, I'll need it. I made this, okay? Now, when I looked, the threads that that piece came off of are uh, 7 eighths Acme thread. The die to cut those threads onto a rod, which was my original thought, is over $100. So, had some old scraps of pipe, and that's what that is. Just a little piece of the 1.9 inch pipe slips right down on it. 5 8 all thread rod, and it's just, I made a washer here to weld it into. It's got a piece of half inch pipe inside welded to that washer to reinforce it. And then I made this piece, a piece of three quarter inch pipe with washers that fit over the five eighths. And it's just gonna slide right on there. And that's gonna hold the eight or 10 inch tires, even a 12 inch. If it's got a five eighths axle on it, this will work. I just got a thumb screw that screws into the hole on this base. I'll show you. Now this is what you get when you go to Harbor Freight, all right? That's the little deal. Now I made the base, it's just a piece of half inch plywood put down on some uh, two by sixes. But now this piece comes off. Like I said, it's got a oddball thread. Okay, as you can see, that's still too big to go into a uh, wheel with a 5 8 axle on it. Okay, now you can see there's a hole in that, and that's where that bolt goes. All you gotta do is stick it down on there, line it up, tighten it. And then you can slide your wheel right down on it. Sorry. Slide your wheel right down on that 5 8 all thread bolt. It'll set right against here. And this comes down on top of it. And then I've got a big uh, 5 8 wing nut for the top of that. Okay, now the reason I mounted that on a base is because I wasn't real sure where I wanted to put it right now. And uh, not real sure that I'll ever mount it solid. I've got that. I can just slip that up on a dolly and take off and put it wherever I want it. Of course, then your own weight standing on that platform is going to keep it from rocking around too much. But eventually, I may drill holes in a concrete floor, which I hate to do, and epoxy some bolts in and uh, bolt the thing down. But like this, I can move it around and find out where's the most convenient place to use it and make up my mind later. So, anyway, so that's all I got for today. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put them in the uh, comments below. Uh, again, if you think it's the dumbest thing you've ever seen, somebody out here working in the heat, doing stuff like this, then uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs down, but then at least tell me why, you know, 
But if you like it, give me a thumbs up and I'll keep trying. You know, out here working, it's hot, yeah, but uh, trying to take advantage of some somewhat better days. I think our high today is about 94, but uh, yeah, it's a whole lot better than some we've had, had uh, one heat index of 112, and I, I don't know how I feel for y'all out there that have got higher than that. I think I've got a son that lives in San Antonio, and they were in the 120s, so not a good day to be outside. So this is not too bad. Uh, like I said, when I'm not recording, I'm going to turn my fan back on. So, all right, well, y'all have a great day. Thanks for stopping by, and come back soon.